as of right now, I'm active in volleyball, flag football, and softball. Me and my brother, Benjen, are both active in sports. Oh my god, that's like the best feeling ever. <laughs> the Like, getting a touchdown on like for our team is like a little mini celebration. But I have to put my priorities first, so like, if I have homework, I'll be like, oh, I have to do my homework first before I like go to practice or like if my friends want to hang out, I'll be like, oh, I have to do my homework first. And that's just basically how I like even up my time. I enjoy playing with people or close friends and I just like playing the sports in general because it's super fun. You never know what's your limit till you pass your limit. Well, the sports I do is swimming, baseball, I got really good at volleyball when I was when I played for J4 <laughs> and um, what was it? Football, yeah, football. When I started playing baseball, I was really scared of the ball, you know, catching it all. But then now practicing, you know, I got used to it and it's not a big deal anymore. At first, it was really hard to get used to everything because I was totally new to the rule, the game and all. And it took a while to understand the whole concept. But after I got that, it was just really enjoyable and really, really fun. Playing, like, swimming competitively, I learned how to swim. So that's a really good skill to have. Doing sports helped me relieve my stress, too, from school. But I guess something that motivates me is all of my coaches, my teammates. They inspire me to go to practice every day and give it my best and all and to never give up. I give myself a pet talk to not think lower of myself. The only sports that I play for school right now is badminton and tennis. I think what really motivated me to stay in tennis was my brother because he was like really good at it. He played it throughout his, he just played it out a lot more than I did and he was good at it and he just always like picked on me and made fun of me like oh you you're not good at it and this and that so it just really helped motivate me to push myself to do something that like I wasn't comfortable to get myself out of comfort zone to try something new. Once you're in a sport you have to be able to keep the your mentality to be able to stay strong even if like you're losing and that's how it really is in life like once you're down like you just can't stay down you have to like use what you have in your head to just pick yourself back up. More of like the Hmong community here and there like a lot of people expect like just the girls to like do the household stuff and not do anything but for my parents like they're really proud and supportive because since we're a girl it makes it a bigger step. For me I'm a type of person where if I start something, I want to end it strong. And since I started tennis during my freshman year, I just don't want to quit, even if like I do. But I, I tell myself like not to because like I'm just not a quitter, you know. And so I, I just strive to like become better. And also another thing about me is like if I play a sport or do something, I don't just want to be there. Like, I actually want to improve and, like, to try to be at the top and compete with other people. This whole summer, the mainly the only thing I've been doing was just getting ready f for football. And just it basically been on the mi my mind. I can, uh, I can tell you that my school, I feel like we don't have as much chemistry as my flag football team. Because my flag football team... We're like all mom. We we always hang out together. It's like every time after practice, hey, do you guys want to go do something? And we always go do something together. The more you spend time together, the more you're gonna be comfortable. Having to be part of a team, having that that second, more like a second family. There was times where I wanted to give up, but I said to myself, if I give up, am I gonna regret it, regret it later? So that's what I. That's what goes through my mind. Do good today, that tomorrow is gonna be good. It might be good today, it might be bad tomorrow. It's not gonna happen the next day or the next week. It might happen the next year. It's just, I'm always having a positive attitude on everything. Bring yourself out there, show yourself that if you don't do it today, it's, it's now or never. Just be yourself.